Hi there and welcome back. Stellaris, the Cthulhu myth. You can see that the unbidden are growing and growing. And what does this transform the Republic? What does this transform the universe to? Their influence is stronger. Also their influence on the minds of the people in the Republic. And so, as you may have heard, a strange faction has formed within the Republic. It's called the Cthulhu Cult. In the depths of the Pacific Ocean, a strange power has begun to stir again, and it influences more and more the minds of the Republic. What does this mean practically now? Our leaders which means our researchers, generals, admirals, governors, will all belong or not to the Cthulhu cult. So they will be obsessed basically with power or not. And when is this determined? Like when they have to take a decision, I'll throw a dice, <laughs> you may actually hear it. I'm using the traditional D20 for role-playing madness. And um, I have thought about a percentage. What is the percentage probability that one of our leaders here in the Republic will be a member of the Cthulhu cult? I've looked at the size of the Unbidden and I'd say maybe 10 or 15 percent. We'll start with 15 percent. When the Unbidden grow a lot more, the cult will also be strengthened and the probability will rise. So. Um, in this first um, phase, we'll determine, like all the leaders, when they have to take decisions, if they're a member of the Cthulhu cult or not. And when we assign new leaders, we'll also throw the dice. When the unbidden grow, we'll up the percentage. And uh, if, if um, we have the majority of um, our leaders, and the leader screen belonging to the Cthulhu cult then we will maybe try to reform our government maybe to something uh, that is more power oriented not so much like this utopia we have here at the, the selection or the subconscious consensus which gives us happiness but rather an oligarchy or maybe a mega corporation. Something that is much more akin to power, maybe also a technocracy. So that may happen. <laughs> when the unbidden grow and when we take our decisions. Now let's let's start again and let's consolidate our earnings here. And what is the next plan? The next plan is to upgrade our ships again to the new weapons. I'll show you to do to you shortly. Here we have a cruiser and here we have the focused arc emitters. And also to build battleships. We will also design more battleships for different purpose. These have the Quantum Destabilizer. The Invasion class has the Subspace Snare, but I think that should change. I think they should get the Shield Dampener, as they are close to the enemy. And we'll make more ships with all of these types available. And, uh, yeah, so the, the battleships, and we have like a battleship spaceport in build in the red ore system will also change and there's of course a, a really big change coming in Heinlein and we'll try to finish the game before that so there might be this this will be good for you as <laughs> maybe the number of episodes per day will increase under the pressure of this somewhere in the mid of October we should be we are trying to finish at least the unbidden i mean if we beat the unbidden 
then the Republic has won. I think we can safely say that. So um, that is going to be our goal now, to beat the unbidden. And what our other goals may be will be determined if the leaders are a part of uh, yeah, of the Cthulhu cult or not. And also, if we gain governors or rulers akin to the Cthulhu cult, they will tend to tomb worlds. And uh, they may adopt these tomb worlds and fill them with robots, as robots are like superior for them. And there's a lot of other things I've thought about with the Cthulhu cult that will be revealed in time. What what do governors do that that have the Cthulhu cult on them? They will probably try to genetically enhance their populations. Like the population that is most sought after in their sector, that is uh, that has the most population, they will be enhanced first to fill their full potential. Now let's see though. Uh, what we need is definitely um, more ships. Destroyer assembly yards we have here. And we can improve them even more. Like we have the Pitharan refinery, which improves the destroyers, but we should really improve the spaceport. And we should also maybe change the synchronized defenses. As this is at the center, we will not be attacked here. So we'll change that to a fleet academy. And once this empty module slot is up, we'll build also a navigator's build there to get the optimum destroyers possible. And I think, um, yeah, the Navigator's build, Guild is built here, and then the Corvettes are coming. So it's all good. We're going to build a lot here. <laughs> so let's find out who follows the power from the Pacific Ocean. And we can also change on Earth. Like we don't need synchronized defenses on Earth, right? It's better to have better ships there, so. Let's look after that. We'll change the synchronized defenses. Oh, we don't need the observatory there anymore. We have the fleet academy. Let's add the navigator's guild. Look at the planet output. Yeah, not too bad here. We can surely upgrade their spaceports. There will be something useful, right? Our directly controlled planets, they must be in top shape. Fripit also has research like a complete academy. So, um, should build something there. Technology researched. Now, we have the research complete for nutrient repl replication, so we're getting 25% more food. How powerful is that? We'll need a lot less hydrophonic farms now. The process of synthet synthetically re replicating crops requires a lot of collected waste to create a small amount of produce, but nevertheless provides a significant boost to agricultural output. And let's see what we can get here. And that would now, of course, be the point to uh, <laughs> see if um, if the Cthulhu cult has convinced someone here. I mean, we have no specialists for this, so Clandrax will decide. 
And we're going to roll for Clan Drax. If I, if I roll a 1 to 3, then he'll be a member of the Cthulhu cult. If not, then he won't. So let's see. I've rolled a 5. So, um, Clan Drax is free, so... Let's see what he goes for. Um, trade points? That's, but that's totally good. It's the cheapest one. It's really, really good. We're going to take the targeted gene expressions. Anyways, and... We'll edit our Clan Drax. Where is he? Here. Come on. Can I? Yeah. And now it's always the case. Yeah. Um, we'll call him loyal. Loyal to the Republic. So he's like a Republican. So we can see in, in his choices, he's still guided by reason, not by power. And now a lot is going to change, you'll see. Um, you've got 25% more um, food, which means we have a very big surplus here. Look at that, 15. <laughs> 15 surplus. We can replace something here. Let's see. We have the hydroponics farm five here. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, we cannot kill that farm, so everything stays the same. Is <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we have an over-the-top happiness, but that's okay. Earth is the continuous party here. <laughs> so we have the Navigator's Guild coming. That's very good for us. And after that, we want to build more cruisers. Oh, now excellent cruisers, probably. Let's look at Nikanda. Plus 14 food. We can change that. We can maybe um, change one thing. I think this was like a mixed planet, right? The Frontier Clan would be important for us. We have that high surplus, so let's see. We can change that to a mineral. Thing. Or we can change it to a hyper entertainment forum for more happiness. That's also good, probably. Why is this decreased? Empire? Minus 20%? What? They're so happy. Well, I mean, there's still some happiness we can gain here. So, I mean, let's give them happiness, probably. There's some arid terrain. More of that, more of that. Yeah, I mean, let's, let's replace it. That's totally okay. With a hyper entertainment forum. Wow, and look at that. There's a military academy available. But we're going for the hyper entertainment <laughs> forum here. Let's, let's spread the happiness. We're Republicans still. <laughs> let's look at the Nikanda guys. What a surplus they have. They have 28 surplus. That's perverse even. We need to change that. Um, this is arid terrain. This is also arid terrain. And this is like a power planet. So let's see. Um, so this would be a candidate. Can replace it with power. What do we have here? Yeah, let's let's go for the power plant totally. So that's eleven away. We could 
could increase the happiness, but not much. We need the Frontier Clinic. I uh, have 28, which means another farm could go. Uh, we could get rid of that farm here. Or of that. Mm, let's take that here. That's okay. Let's use a power plant. More power for us. And what's here? We have 23 surplus. Which means we can... We can replace that, I mean. Or that. Yeah, that's that's actually replace that thing and that thing. That should be okay. Let's replace that with some mining networks. What to do on so what? You have 25 surplus. That's also perverse. Where does this come from? We have the Frontier Clinic, we need this. And this is Gaia Terrain. This is Gaia Terrain as well. We should probably replace. Hmm. I mean, they're getting a lot of plus. They're getting a lot of plus as well. I think it doesn't matter really. Should replace this one, probably. Probably. And... Where are we? Let's go for the basic science lab. So that's 12 away. <laughs> 25 would be the one. That's really, really strange. I mean, what do we have here? We have 16, 17, 18, 19. This would be 16, and we have... Three on the spaceport equals 19. That would be perfect, right? But we need one to sustain possible growth. So let's only change one. Now on this planet, we have 19 surplus. That's really exaggerated. So we need the Frontier Clinic. We could replace this. Then we have nine. Yeah, let's just replace this with the basic science lab. Then we have Frippit. We have started here already. Um, could just replace the hydrophonic farm here. Something else. With a hyper entertainment forum. And we have this Arctic world here. Yeah, it already has a big surplus, but the big thing is to remove the glaciers first. <laughs> then we'll be happy there. And then we have Karkana, this world. Um, ah, that's so strange. We should replace this with a planetary capital. Is that possible? Always thought that is not possible. Why is the happiness so low here? Oh, because it's recently conquered. Yes. And it has nationalist corruption. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, it will it will stay here. It's no problem. I think we'll build something in the in the spaceport there. We have the mind control laser now, I mean. So What's the next project? The next project is to wait for our forces to return. They actually have returned. And the next project is to um, make all the battleship classes ready for action. Then start... Yeah, then 
actually repair and upgrade all the fleets and then go for the castle of the fifth son. That is the next enemy and they are vulnerable. They are already losing to the galactic moon beasts and uh, they are weak. So thank you for watching. See you in the next episode when we prepare war with designing new exciting battleships. Thank you for watching.